Chapter 15. Labels in Git. Our DAG now consists of a single note. There is exactly one commit and it is not related to any other commits. But it does have labels. Labels is how Git keeps track of different branches, which is something we'll take a closer look at in a later chapter. For now, we have a single branch. It's called main, which is the default branch in Git. And while one single branch is not very exciting, it is all we need to understand how labels work. To see the label git uses, let's ask it to show us the commit log with git log. Apart from the metadata about the commits themselves, git will also show the various labels we are currently using. If you look at the most recent commit ID, you will see that it's followed by information between brackets. First it will say head, and then a little arrow pointing to main. Remember in chapter 8, where we went spelunking in the .git folder, we learned that head is like a you are here marker. In other words, git will put the head label on whatever commit it considers to be where we are right now. So each commit we make will always become a child of whatever commit the head label is on. While git log is certainly the user-friendly way to retrieve this information, we can also figure out what where head is pointing to by looking in the .git folder. If you look at the contents of the .git head file, you will see it holds a reference to refs heads main. If in turn you look into the .git ref heads main file, you will see that it holds the ID of our root commit. In other words, head points to ref heads main, which points to our commit. So git knows that both the head label and the main label or both on this root commit. Why this matters will become clearer when we talk about branching. For now, what you should know is that each branch has its own label, which should be on the last commit made on that branch, the tip of the branch, so to speak. The head label is special in that it always points to the commit that will become the parent of the next commit we'll make.